Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sayed Nababi. I'm a research associate in the Ecole de Technology Superior, ETS Montreal, Quebec. And uh, the title of my presentation is the Surface Micro Machine Out of Plane Electrostatic MEMS Actuator Integrated with the Displacement Sensor. So this is the outline of my presentation. Uh, I would have started with the short introduction and then I'm gonna describe the current actuation techniques for MEMS actuator. And then I would propose the new out of plane electrostatic actuator with the capability of the uh, self sensing. And then I have, I would show some result and finally I would finish this presentation with the conclusion. Okay, let's start it with the introduction. So due to recent development in the optical communication, we use the MAMS, MAMS actuator in photonic devices for different purposes. For example, we can use the MAMS actuator as a variable optical attenuator, or also we can use it as a, a tunable wavelength filter. Also, MAMS actuator can be used as a optical switches. So at the MAMS scale, in order to get the actuation, we have a number of different mechanisms. As no one of them is the electrothermal, which is, which is work based on the thermal expansion. The next one is the electromagnetic. In the electromagnetic electric field can provide a motion one of the very well-known approach for providing the movement in the MEMS scale is the using the piezoelectric material. And finally, the, ter the force method that can be used at the MEMS scale for providing the movement is the electrostatic. So each technique has own advantages as well as drawbacks. So, but electrostatic actuation sounds promising because of the few reasons. First of all, the Electrostatic based MEMS actuator require a very low power input. And also they have a simpler structure then they can be fabricated by using the straightforward fabrication. And more, and more important, they have a very quick response. Majority of the actuator operated in open loop configuration, which means the actuation, the amount of the actuation provided by the actuator, normally measured by the camera so, or other stuff. However, we need the electrostatic MEMS actuator with the capability of providing out of plane motion. And besides of that, we should be able to monitor the displacement somehow. So in this study, we are motivated to propose the new structure for providing the out-of-plane uh, electrostatic uh, out-of-plane uh, motion. And also at the same time, we are able to measure the, this uh, out-of-plane motion. So this is the schema here. You can see the schematic of the fabric, uh, this proposed electrostatic MEMS actuator. This actuator is anchored from this one side and it has a number of the fixed and unfixed fingers. So then, so, and also we have a suspended plate and beneath of the, this suspended place, we use the electrode. Therefore, once we actuate this actuator, uh, there is a capacitance here. This changing the capacitance create the, by monitoring the, this capacitance value, we are, able to, uh, we are able to identify the out of plane motion. So this actuator is working based on the repulsive have force and to get the repulsive force, we need to use this such an electrical configuration. So as you can see, we have an imbalance in the electric field and this electric field can push the actuator away from the surface. So how we can get, uh, fabricate this actuator? Actually, this actuator requires the two polysilicon layers, so then it can be fabricated by a standard surface micro machining process like a polymoms by MEMSCAN. 
The sensing electrode also can be fabricated with the other parts of actuator. So then this uh, sensing electrode that we introduced in this novel actuator does not require any additional fabrication processing step. So, so let me show you some result that this is the, we use the console for finite element modeling. Here you can see the first mode of the actuator. First mode of the actuator has a, has a vertical motion behavior and that one is happening at 1.6 kilohertz roughly speak. So this here you can see the measure is the fabricated actuator. And then we excite the actuator by using the DC power supply. And then vertical motion was measured by using a 3D confocal laser microscope. So what you can see here, this curve, uh, which is X axis shows the actuation voltage and the Y axis is the displacement of the suspended, uh, suspended plate is measured by the, as I mentioned, it is measured by the microscope uh, is here. What you can see by changing the actuation voltage from the 10 volt to the 50, you are able to maximally get the 1.8 micrometer. There's a good agreement between the simulation and the measurement, but the accuracy is around 70%. This is mainly because of the different material, different uh, mesh and the, uh, as we know, the fabrication is always not perfect. So then, then we measure the capacitance also. The capacitance is measured by using the precision LCR meter. So here the x-axis shows the actuation voltage. Once we, we, once we increase the actuated voltage, you can see we have a drop in the measured capacitance that shows that the distance between the sensing electrode and the suspended plate is increased. So this reduction in the capacitance actually is the indicator of the displacement that produced by the actuator. When if we compare the simulation and measurement together, what we can see the measurement shows the higher, the blue one, which is the measurement shows the higher value in capacitance. This is mainly because of the parasitic capacitance introduced by the packaging and the uh, printed circuit PCB. And the other thing that I would like to mention, the reduction in the simulation is higher than the measurement. That is mainly might be because of the interference between the actuating and sensing part. So let's uh, conclude this work. In this study, we propose a novel out of plane electric static MEMS actuator that can uh, sense uh, its displacement. In order to measure the displacement, we introduce a sensing electrode beneath the plate. So then by measuring capacitance, actually we are able to identify the motion. Uh, the capability of the actuator to provide a vertical motion is studied numerically and experimentally. Uh, this self-sensing feature of the, this actuator are also make the actuator suitable for using the closed loop control systems. In other words, in order to measure the displacement, we don't need to have uh, any extra equipment. Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good day.